no API uh, until now. If you buy lots of traffic, you're also good in search engine as well. To not just be a service provider, but to be a service partner. Sounds Island, it are only you. What big changes were done? And that is the first digital agency uh, based in Comoros Islands. Hi. Hi. Couldn't you represent yourself and your company? Yeah, um, my name is uh, Tuamimu Ibrahim. And I'm the um, chief executive officer of Kino Inc. Digital Agency. Um, that is the first digital agency uh, based in Comoros Islands. I, I really try to find as much as agencies as we have just to understand what's happening. We try to search all hosting companies, all telcos. So on the island, there are only you, no others. Maybe there are some others, freelancers. Usually they have like one person company, but you are le really leading company, so I can guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are the first um, digital agency in Comoros. We were established in 2013. So it's almost uh, 10 years now. Um, in the last five years, there were um, like some new agencies, but they are communication agencies, not digital agencies. So I, I can say maybe we are the only digital agency in Comoros. So and by the way, about hosting. So usually when people need the hosting in Comoros, they usually host somewhere else, yeah? Not here in the island. Yeah, um, but we do have um, a hosting company in Comoros, Comor mm. Telecom, uh, yeah. has a hosting service. But um, it's slow, expensive, and uh, yeah, it's expensive, slow. So we used to host uh, outside. Uh, some people prefer to do it in France, as we do have some good connection with uh, with France. Um, but in our company, we do host with a U.S. company, uh, mm -hmm. so we use servers in Netherlands and Singapore. So yeah, uh, be because in your in your island, everybody speaks French, and s and mostly people also speak Arabic. Yes, um, most do speak French. Mm -hmm. uh, you have um, some people who speak Arabic, but w what I can say is that almost everyone can read Arabic. Mm -hmm. uh, can even write Arabic, but we do not really speak uh, speak Arabic. It's due to the fact that we are Muslims, so we have to read the Quran, uh, what is written in Arabic. So yeah, we everyone can read Arabic, can write Arabic, but you do have few of us that really master uh, Arabic as a language. You are a really ni nice mixed country, also in the north of Africa, also like. Uh, Tunisia, Morocco also is like French Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> there are lots of uh, islands around like uh, Mayotte, uh, Madagascar, Mauritius, Reunion. There are all of them are differently uh, differently mixed uh, yeah. with, uh, yeah. with cultures. Some French, some English, yeah. some Indian, some, some uh, Arabic, even, some Chinese. Yeah. 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 And, uh, Okay, and about domain name. To register domain name here is very complicated. Yeah, you need to go to physically go to. Yeah, so Comod Telecom. You go. You have to go to their offices and fill a form there. Um, but there is an ongoing process to move the management of the .km domain to another structure. So I think it will become easier, and you can do the process online uh, in the near future. But for now, you have to go to Kumba Telecom office. I, 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 will talk with them. I will talk with them tomorrow to somehow rise up this process because uh, sometimes uh, local companies are unable to represent it because nobody listens to them. But mm -hmm. there are some experts from outside coming. By the way, I was like, let's say, in Zambia. Mm -hmm. So registrars need good API or registry always like, oh, next year, next year. So I came to them and said, what the fuck is going on? Said, oh, okay, 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 yeah, we do, we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so they're really afraid of me because if registrar starts saying something, they is that stop selling them domain names, you know? Yeah. So they have some manipulation, some some power. In the, but for me, like, what they didn't do, what they can do for me, nothing. <laughs> so Yeah, you have to try. You have nothing to lose. Go and, go yeah. and see. That, that could be even beneficial for us as, as digital agency to easily 
book at the man um, online and not uh, lose many hours go to the and office and, and the price is about hundred dollars yeah something like that mm, the price right now no I think it's per year maybe no it's ten thousand yeah, yeah per year it's more than one hundred dollars because I think it's maybe um twenty dollars per month yeah so yeah it's expensive yeah so also i saw they selling per month yes i saw they sell domain name per month mm, you can pay annually ah, okay yeah, monthly, yeah. so ma but it's more than so hosting usually um, we will look at their website but it's usually very expensive i meet today with uh, comoros telecom the registry and only one hosting provider in the country and uh, i try to decrease the price of dot km from over 100 dollars per year to like at, let's say 10 dollars per year and also it possibly become available for global registrar so they can sell domains like i don't know unlimited cam or KM it's quite quite nice the main extension. So I believe it will be some nice changes. So we will see. Let's wait several months or half a year and we will see what big changes were done in the island. Okay, what about payment gateways? As I know you have uh, several mobile money. We do have several mobile money in Kumaros. I think we have something like three. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't have gateway payments. That's um, a great mm -hmm. problem. So you can make P2P payments. Mm -hmm. uh, but so do they do not have a, a API? API? No API uh, until now. And it's very difficult for the e commerce sector because we can't um, make integration of those payments in uh, the um, e commerce website we are building for our clients. So we, we do have like, what we do is like to say um, on the payment page that you can use, let's say, um, Huri Money uh, by paying to this number. And uh, the payment process is not done uh, mm -hmm. in, in the um, e-commerce yeah, website. Ch check it manually, yeah. yeah. So they will check later and it's very, very difficult for the merchants to... Uh, to use them as uh, a payment uh, method. And okay. about traffic, usually all traffic comes through Taiwan or go like how you like get traffic to here? Yeah, it's usually got like cables go through Africa or? Yeah, um, we do have, uh, I think, Commercial Com and Telma are using um, a submarine cable mm -hmm. that uh, connects um, East African countries ah, to, okay. uh, yeah to other continents so they have what is called the EC submarine cable and I think it's connect Comoros, uh, Djibouti, uh, I think Kenya also, uh, South Sudan and... Um, yeah by the way in Djibouti it's a big problem because like a war in Ethiopia so all ever in Ethiopia internet is not stable mm. so when it's come here it should be less stable. Yeah so we, we do have two, two submarine cables that mm -hmm. uh, are used by our telecom company right now and uh, so you use everywhere local currency even and ever there are like as I understood four ATM in all the island yeah mm -hmm. one ATM is at airport two or three is in the capital and that's all in Ireland no, all the ATMs I think we do have many <laughs> we do have many my bank and, and the island sh should have something like okay let me count one two Three, maybe six uh, ATM in it all island. In but the by the way, so yeah. people possibly do not have electronic money. This ATM, I think, is for most for tourists. Yeah, Usually yeah, everybody yeah, do yeah cash. Th That's why. But I think we you should have something like uh, fifteen ATM in Maroni. Let's talk about website builder. And uh, is it? popular here do you hear something like go daddy website builder wix weebly or something no i'm not sure it's uh, it's popular in Comoros. Mm -hmm. um so you have those who do build custom websites like my agency yeah and you have uh, those who use cms like uh, wordpress and 
another CMS to build website. So I'm not sure um, website builder is uh, is popular. I think the main reason is because you have like close to one million population. You have eight or nine hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. By the way, in our country, are three million people. Okay. And in our country, internet penetration is like 98% or 95 mm. Here is internet penetration, you see like 10-15%. So. Internet cover coverage? Like, yes. How many people use uh, internet? Mm, I think the last figures I have, uh, it was like 25%. Yeah, but yeah. still, you think like... It's still few, yeah. Yeah, and uh, in South Africa, it's like more than half, more than a half. And uh, in our country, we have 250,000 local domains. Oh. Yeah, I think you have less than thousand local domains. Maybe, maybe I don't have the the, the correct figures for domain mm -hmm. names. Yeah, but uh, you you are talking about .dot .km. Yeah, domain? yeah, yeah. yeah. It's By the way, you have nice domain .dot .km. I think mm. for all for all uh, current of like unlimited .km, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> like you, have, you can have lots of domains here. Yeah. But we do have good internet coverage. I mean, uh, in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in Volcano yesterday. So in Volcano, you have in 4G. Yeah. So we do have. Uh, it's maybe because I mean the last figures I do have are from 2018 uh, when we were working on the national digital strategy. Um, so I think it's evolved from then to now, and um, at that time it was 25 percent of the population using actively internet. So it may be now something like 30 or. Uh, and the, if you. Know. Like what? What do you think in the future? Like uh, about website builder, is better to use on-premises version or cloud? For example, if you sell to your customers. If I sell to my customers, I think it will be on on cloud. On cloud, yeah, yeah much easier to manage. Yeah. Okay, and uh, maybe you can share what is your like most beautiful success in your business. For example, I did some step, and it was really success. So you get more customers or something like that. So maybe people like you know from Japan, from America, look at you and like think, oh, maybe they search for some life hacks from Comoros. I think our hack is to treat each customer mm -hmm. um, in, in, a, in a very custom way. Mm -hmm. So we really take the time to not just be a service provider, but to be a service partner for, uh, for our clients. And we, we try to spend enough time to make them happy and satisfied with what we are doing. And uh, I can tell you that every client we finish a product with um, is a marketing agent for us. And those are the ones that bring the next customer to... Uh, we, started, we started the same way as you. We were also a web design company and we try to satisfy every customer. And uh, of course, we just calculate one of 500 or one of 1,000 will be not satisfied totally. Yeah. Sure. One, but it's like about one from 500 in our statistics. And uh, later you need to pro make one product and sell it many times. So not do product for every customer. And uh, if you keep the same, like satisfy every customer in the long term, we get problem because you do satisfy customers who need your help. But mm. your product goes very bad because you satisfy everybody, but yeah, not I all see. at all. Mm. So we start focusing on uh, satisfying uh, like many people not exact customers <laughs> yeah and by the way for us is uh, mainly now growth of course we did a lot of tests we work with like direct marketing email marketing phone marketing we really did a lot of things but when you have a global product you need to market somehow so right now we see that is the best thing is conversion so like uh, because the people are already coming to your website, so you need yeah. to convert them at maximum. Yeah. And uh, by the way, we last month maybe increased conversion about five times uh, in some segments. Just we have five, five, five times more payments than before. Mm. Now we the and what was the hack? Well, we did lots of small hacks. We just mm. you do lots of hacks, mm. but of course play with pricing is much must most most. But also uh, it's to carefully do testings and. Uh, uh, we now recording uh, growth hacking course. It will be mm -hmm. public and online and free, so yeah, we can yeah. also use and look at our website. How to do this? Uh, how to learn from the future? How to do hypotheses? How to run them? How and how to get knowledge from the statistics? And uh, of course, 
te technically 80% of hypothesis do not work, so you just win only 10-20%. And with this 10-20% you need to combine like tuk tuk tuk, 10 hypotheses, one win, 10 hypotheses, one win. And with these wins you need to to get this. But of course we have problems with uh, before registration, like we have problem at uh, getting traffic, we have problem on registration, we have problem on uh, like uh, how they upgrade, uh, the upgrade process, the payment process, the um, lots of uh, lots of things to do. So in, in every step you're losing money. Mm. And by the way, when we was agency, we were very wise and we said to customer do like this or do like that and you will be very rich. But in our case, we just test, you know, you sometimes you do stupid things and uh, just customer just come, they do not click. Uh, we start yeah. analyzing, they search for something and you start talking to them, you find the solution, you change everything. So it's like yeah, I see. UI, UX and uh, customer yeah. development. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and maybe you can share your big thing that really that disappointed in your business yet. You did it and this was really bad. So, so like it was really wrong and you understand that you will never repeat it. Um, you know, uh, we went on and locally as not um, um, as not offering yeah. cheap services. Yeah. So we tried one day to offer a package mm -hmm. that was um, that was very accessible in terms of price, uh, more than half um, the price we we usually. Um, mm -hmm. Um, make pay our our clients, but uh, we found at the end that um, I mean um, people didn't come to us because we were we were cheap at mm -hmm. that time. So the ones <laughs> that were um, always coming were the ones that needed quality over price. So um, we decided at that time not to compete in price. <laughs> With, uh, with our competitors, but to compete in quality and to still compete in quality and not compete in... Uh, yeah, by the way, we have also price, some tests yeah. when you increase price and you you get more sales just because people understand you as a more quality product. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for us was a big loss with search engines. We have two projects and uh, both of them are similar uh, quantity of users. And one project is nice in search engines, another product is not. And uh, we start analyzing because one product has good traffic in one country, so it's very good in search engines. Mm. And other product is international and have mm. everywhere a little bit. And uh, you can be optimized, let's say, for Ethiopian market. But the problem is, unless you have traffic in Ethiopia, you will the search engines just do not like do not put you in top positions. Yeah, so I you see. need to have live customers who every, every day use you and they have mass of them. And when you have mass of them, the search engine in this country start going and you just increasing. Mm, I see. So let's say there are two similar websites and one has big traffic in one country, other is just the same traffic but everywhere. So one that is popular in this country, in this country you will have better better uh, like uh, search engine results. Mm. So Google do not see on your like, of course. It's important, of course title, subtitle, like this, all this, like friendly oils, uh, keywords, of course, Google look at this, but in the long term you need big traffic. Yeah. And uh, the way Google is doing this is just, you need to buy more AdWords. You get more AdWords, by the way, you buy more AdWords, you get more traffic, you get mm. more traffic, your search engine results comes. And the way the Google not selling the top positions, Google selling top position and everything else because if you buy lots of traffic, you also good in search engine as well. Yeah. So it's like Google. It's like it's like newspaper. Where if you would like to come here, you need to pay for everything. So it's we understood it. So now, what we need like to be uh, to get lots of quality users, satisfy them. So in the long term, we just provide a better yeah. sale. Yeah. So thank you for. Um, coming to us and visiting the, the company. So we hope that we will use uh, your product, it Pro, to um, some future customers that want um, maybe something very uh, simple, very quickly, in a budget, um, 
so I hope that we will get uh, a good uh, a good relationship in the future. And, and uh, don't forget, 95% of, of world websites are budget. Mm. Like they search for something very cheap. They just just need website as this hotel as everything else. Yeah. <laughs> every guide, every uh, everybody. <laughs> yep. The only difference uh, here, for example, if you hire a yoga teacher here and in America, in America, a good yoga teacher will have his own website branding. He will all be see in many lists. So mm. he really will be professional marketing and sales. And the like, I don't know, one training person with yoga teacher will cost like six, four, I don't know, five, H, hundred dollars mm. per hour. <laughs> here, local teacher will have nothing. Only friends knows him. No SEO, no website, no name, no nothing, no listing, net, nothing. And his hour will cost, like, you know, 10 hours or five hours, an, five dollars an hour. This is the difference. <laughs> yeah, so I wish you, like, to to increase the quantity of websites here and increase your economy yeah. as much as you can. Thank yeah, you. I hope so. You're welcome. And thank you too.